In this problem, you have to find the value of this expression. So the expression is you have a square root and inside this square root you have 220 minus 30 times the square root of 35. So you can find the value only if somehow you can convert this number that is inside the root as a whole square then you can easily calculate the square root of this number. And if you see, there is a negative sign here. And this can be written as 2 times 15 times root 35 of course. So this gives me a hint that is I can convert this as a minus b whole square. And if you remember the formula for a minus b whole square this is equals to a square plus b square minus 2ab. So if I see, I can say that this term is nothing but a square plus b square. And this term is nothing but minus 2ab. So if you see this minus sign is there. So this term is 2ab. So now you have to find yourself two numbers a and b such that product that is 2 times a times b is 30 times root 35 and if you square and sum then this becomes 220. So how will you solve this? So to solve this problem we will first factorize the second term. So 2 times 15 and 15 can be written as 3 times 5 and root 35 can be written as 7 times 5 and now you know the rules of power that is root a times b is equals to root a times root b. So if I use this rule I can say this becomes 220 minus 2 times 3 times 5 times root 5 times root 7. Now see, this is the critical step, key step. Now you have to find, so this is 3 into 5, you have to find these two numbers such that if you square this number and this is number a square and sum, then this comes 220. So you do trial and error, take 2, 3 times and then you will find this number. And this number is 3 root 5 and 5 root 7. This means what I have done, this root 7 and five, uh, this 5, this 5 at one place, that is 5 root 7. And the next is this number root 5 and 3 at one place, that is 3 root 5. So this becomes A and this becomes B. Then let us check whether A square plus B square is 220 or not. So 3 root 5 whole square will be 9 into 5 that is 45 and this will be 175 and if you add this is exactly 220. So this means we have found these two numbers. So now I can rewrite the given expression. So this becomes a square root 220 can be written as 170. I need to have two squares, one is 175, another is 45 and minus 2 times 3 root 5 times 5 root 7. So this becomes 175 as I know this is nothing but 5 root 7 whole square and 45 is nothing but 3 root 5 whole square and this is nothing but 2 times a times b that is 2 times 3 root 5 times 5 root 7. So now I can say this can be written as 5 root 7 minus 3 root 5 whole square. So if you take positive square root this will be simply plus 5 root 7 minus 3 root 5. So this is the answer for this problem. You can also consider the negative root but generally 
this is considered as a positive square root so this symbol denotes the positive square root so this is the positive square root and that's why you have taken positive number as the answer for this problem so i hope you enjoyed this video and if you enjoy please share with your friends like this video and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching this video and i will see you in the next video